in and out. In and out, prison for 42 years. And the longest bed I ever did was 12 years. You got fentanyl on your crack? Yes. And how did you know you had fentanyl on your crack? Because it took me to my knees and made me throw up everything I had in my system. I thought I would die. Right. And who do I have the pleasure of speaking to today? My name is Johnny Gary Wells. I'm a native of Charlotte, North Carolina. Uh, nice to meet you, sweetheart. <laughs> and I'm 73 years old. Oh, well, you look excellent, 73 years old. Okay, so you're born and raised from Charlotte. Okay, so what are we doing here? So what, uh, how was, um, you born and raised? Yes. So how, are you homeless? I recently lost my apartment last week, last week. So you're 73 years old, and you just how long you how long you lived in your apartment? A year and four days. What? I had been homeless prior to that. Okay, so you you were homeless for how now, long before well, then? Almost two years. For almost two years, and then you had an apartment for a year. And how did you lose it? And now you're homeless right now. Uh, I had two individuals slinging crack out of my apartment. Oh, okay. Did you know they were doing that? Okay, and so they were just like paying for it, and you know, paying for the rent and stuff too. They're supposed to be paying, but they was paying me in crack. They were paying you in crack. So you have a crack problem. Excuse me. You have a crack problem. Yes, I am an addict. All right. so how long you been an addict for? Since eighty two, nineteen eighty two. Mm -hmm. How was um? How was your childhood? I had a pretty decent childhood. Mm-hmm. Okay. And so what made so how was your did you finish high school? I got my GED when I was in prison. Prison? How old were you when you went to prison? Ma'am. How old were you when you went to prison? Seventeen. Seventeen? And what'd you go to prison for? B and E. Breaking and entering. Breaking and entering. And why were you breaking and entering? Well, because uh at that time my mom couldn't afford to buy me the clothes I wanted. Okay. Got you. And how long were you in jail for that at 17? Uh, well, I almost made a career out of it. I spent 42 years of my life in and out back in North Carolina. You were in prison for 42 years of your oh, life? In and out. In and out, prison for 42 years. Yes, the longest bed I ever did was 12 years. Our, I've been out since, what, 2007? 2007. Okay, so you've been out for a while. Okay, so how was it transitioning from being in prison where there's structure and they tell you what to do and everything to being on your own. How was that? For, what did they drop you off at? Like, did you have home, family to go home to or what? Yes, yes. I, I didn't leave my mother's house until I was 40 years old. Okay. Every time I got out of penitentiary, I had some, a home to go to. Okay, got you. All right. And then that ended at some point where you didn't have a home to come home to? or well, My mother, she, uh, my mother died in about 2011. 2011. Mm -hmm. Right. And so tell me about your drug use. How, how did that come up? Like, why why did you start using? It's a long story. Uh, wow. Did you have, like, some kind of tragedy or some kind of abuse you went through and you were no, trying to uh, feel better about it? The neighborhood that I lived in. Uh, in Charlotte. Mm -hmm. It had a lot of Piedmont Quarter, Billy's. Greenville, Cherry, a lot of drug activity. Okay. I just got curious. Got curious, the typical teenage. How old were you when you started, you said? I was 22 or 23. Okay. Started. I didn't start getting hot until I was 21 years old. Right. But you know, like, all I like to just say no. Just say no. <laughs> Don't even start Maybe it, even just for curiosity. Not easy to do. Right. But your pressure. Yeah. So watch your crowd. Watch your crowd and, and just say no. All the other drugs I could do without, but the crack. Right. I love this one. Yeah. That, that, that was my, uh, I would say, uh, my drug of choice. Have you ever done heroin? No. So you crack. My, 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 I, I was scared of that because I seen a lot of my friends old. Right. I was going to tell you, I, 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 I got a, uh, an associate of partner. He, that's what he do. Mm -hmm. 
the fitting off. Right. I don't know how he got hooked on it. You know? Right. I mean, cause you, like I said, it only takes a little bit to kill you. That's what I'm talking about. So how, how the heck, you know, and you got to be careful where you get your stuff from because what they're doing is they're cutting it up with the fentanyl so they can get more twice. money. You got me twice. Right. What happened when you got fentanyl? What? You got fentanyl on your crack? Yes. And how did you know you had fentanyl on your crack? Because it took me to my knees and made me throw up everything I had in my system. I thought I won't die. Right. That was a blessing then that you threw I it out. I heart attack. Right. Did you go to the, the hospital, the emergency right. room? You just rolled it out? Yes. Right. So where are you going to sleep tonight? Oh, I'm, I'm at the shelter. Uh-huh. It's up the park. They got the tube. It's two men in the tube. Okay. And the, the food is good. Okay. They, they got good staff. Right. So what are you going to do about your drug problem? I mean, you know, uh, I bought, like I always say, there's no such thing as an old drug addict. I it's made like... a proposition with my peer counsel. Okay. Uh, they wanted me to go to an uh, inpatient clinic for six months. Okay, inpatient. I, told him, I said, no, 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 I can't do that because it's just like being in penitentiary to me. I told them I would go for 30 days. Okay, so they felt like you need six months of going to the penitentiary. Yes. But see, they, they also wanted me to get a pay. I see now. Get a what? A pay to handle my money. Oh, got gotcha. you. Okay, got gotcha. you. I told them if, if, if I go to rehab, I got to manage my own money. Mm -hmm. So you get like Social Security and stuff like that? I get SSI. SSI, okay. But it's still not enough to keep you off the streets? Well, I smoke like that. Oh, okay. So you're homeless because you rather pay for us drugs yeah, and a pay for home. I, you know, I mean, I, I you have just, to. You have to. It's a habit. Yeah. My, my, my dope bill is like six fifty seven hundred dollars a month. I don't give it eight hundred dollars. And so you spend six to seven hundred dollars a month. And this is contradictory. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, you know, I'm recording it though. So, so I mean, so what do you plan on? You know, how so you do so you want to be off of drugs? Yes, yeah, so sir. Why? To go. I'm tired. I'm 73 years old. What are you tired of? I, I got you. The life. Yeah. What's the life like? What do you mean? Always chasing it? A lot of stuff come into play. Dangerous I am. Bad for my health. Mm hmm. The relationship I have with my daughters, you know. How many children do you have? I have a son and two daughters. Okay, you have, and what kind of relationship do you have with them? We are right now. Okay. Because I decided to go and rehab. Oh. So my daughter told me, she said, you don't lost one place. Yeah. She warned me about the last place, don't let me know, but I did it anyhow. Right. Right, so you, you're trying to do this for your family. No, I'm doing it for myself. Good. Okay. Yeah, because if you do it for someone else, it's not going to work. Yeah, I mean, and, you know, having an addiction is a sickness. It is. It's a sickness. If you don't get it, you're sick. I know. So you have to be mentally ready and understand that it's not your fault, per se. You're, the drugs are doing what it's supposed to do. It's supposed to hook you. So you have to have in your mind that... You, you have to be ready and it's not your fault and they doing what they supposed to do to get you unhooked from the drugs you know what I'm saying so don't take it as a, a that you're weak like a moral weakness or you just can't do it the drugs are the drugs are a beast I know I know that's why my health is bad now because of crap because of crap. right so but you're going you said when you're going to start you think uh, I, I suppose you're going in the first of the month Okay. Do you want this? I want this. Do you want this? I really want this. <laughs> I'm happy for you. Oh. Well, you're, you're starting your new life at the beginning of the month? I believe in God. Right. I knew there was a God. Right. I turned 73 years old September 29th. Mm-hmm. Uh, my playmates, they ain't him. Yeah. They died from drug overdoses or just... You, you're, God have you here for a reason. I know this. And I ask him every day, Lord, show me the way. Right. 